hi guys welcome back to my channel I just did the most perfect I don't want to say most perfect but I did an amazing job on giving you guys a review on this and I had to do it again because the lighting was jacked up and y'all only saw my head so it looks like a headless horseman is like giving you guys this review but you guys I am here to give you guys the details on the HD concealers by Makeup Forever so if you are interested in this video then keep watching okay so a lot of youtubers were not able to come with the details just because I don't know I actually got in the mail the info on the HD concealer so I wanted to come with the details show you guys swatches let you know what my thoughts are about the concealer so first of all let me let you know that it comes in 10 shades it's going to retail for $27 and it's going to be in Sephora Sephora.com Makeup Forever Boutiques and Makeup Forever hello like can you like not fly planes while I'm videotaping right now please thank you it's going to be in Sephora, Sephora.com, MakeupForever.com, and Makeup Forever Boutiques. And it's going to hit stores January of 2016. So I'm doing this December 31st. And I wanted to try this a couple of times. I actually got this maybe about two weeks ago. And I have been using it nonstop. I consider myself a concealer snob just because my problem area is my under eye between bags and under eye circles. I need some miracles in my life and I love this like I mean I'm up here breathing like I'm up here like hyperventilating for this stuff they probably have the best shade range in the makeup industry to me I love that this comes in 10 shades and five shades are correcting shades and five shades are brightening shades or concealing shades I love the fact that they take the easy work they take the hard work out of it to make it easy for the consumer for us so in it like I said it's five shades and the way that you know they're color correcting shades on the back they have an R which means I guess for red or for rose and those are the color correcting shades and for Y which are yellow on the color wheel that is for concealing and brightening it, it, it starts with a Y okay first of all let me tell you there are no cons and I am a concealer snob, and there are no cons like I was looking for something to be wrong in these and it wasn't like nothing it's super duper lightweight like the lightest formula ever it gives the full coverage like Mac Pro Longwear concealer it's super duper hydrating I love because I like to use a good amount of product to cover up my under eye circles I you sh you saw how much I used it was like a little bit goes a super long way and it looks like the tube is very small but I promise you you will not have to use as much as you think you will have to this is super duper lightweight like I don't feel like most a lot of times I can feel concealer under my eye my top and I'm gonna come with a video let me know down in the comment section if you want me to come with my favorite color correctors because that is essential in discoloration and muting out the blueness of dark under eye circles like if you want me to come with that definitely let me know in the comment section this is definitely in my top three concealers seriously I would say if NARS radiant creamy concealer had a baby and Mac pro Longwear concealer had a baby if they got together it would be HD I make it forever and what I mean by that the light reflecting technology of the radiant creamy concealer which is why a lot of people love it because it brightens really really well and the Mac pro Longwear concealer because it's full coverage and it like can hide everything under it like it's like sweeping something under the rug it's it's going to conceal and it's full coverage this does both and the added thing because radiant creamy concealer can be kind of drying Mac pro Longwear can be heavy this one is neither or neither I hope my English teacher is not watching 
but I like it also the applicator it is designed where you can put it directly on to the skin and a little bit goes a long way y'all saw how much I used just a little bit you do get 2.3 ounces fluid ounces I it says to apply it with a finger I highly recommend using either your finger or a synthetic brush just because the beauty blender soaks up so much of the product that it kind of defeats the purpose it did give me in directions to use my under eye I mean use my fingers to apply it and that's why you see in the demo that I actually use my fingers and it warms up the product I feel like you get smoother coverage when you go in with your finger and y'all I mean I'm loving how this is translating on camera but it looks even better and person and it's super duper hydrating even after using a powder you do not see it did not crease on me and I took a minute a good minute I usually I set my powders immediately but this is amazing I hope I didn't forget to say anything or give any more information out to you guys I am gonna take a picture of this so you guys can figure out your perfect shade I hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up it just lets me know what kind of videos you guys love let me know down in the comment section what your favorite concealer is like I said I'm a concealer hoarder and I need to know whether it's high in or low in some new ones to try so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe if you hadn't already and I will see you guys in my next video Bye. weeks I like definitely could tell a difference in my skin the hydration